orange cookie, and this is my third dish. What dish is this? Well, you need a bag of rice, some ragu. You can pick the ragu you like. I picked the combo. Everybody picky and choosy. If you like mushroom gumbo, I mean your ragu, you get the ragu with the, the, the shrimp in it, or the, or the chicken. Then you need shrimp. So um, this is all they had at Walmart. So I got the ones with the tails. So I have to peel them in a few seconds. Uh, you can get any type of shrimp you want. You get the popcorn shrimp, the big shrimp, the, 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 the 15, the 17, uh, the 2 2, whatever you like in your your next meal. Because this is the three items you need for the next meal. That grew the rice and and the shrimp. And this is the only shrimp that they got in Manland's town. Alright, I'll see you in a few seconds. <laughs> On this meal, we need our shrimp, a pot, a salsa pan, a wooden spoon, what the hell is that for? The ragu, a measuring cup, and the rice you need, and a knife to cut the bag open. Alright, first, what you want to do... is measure your rice exactly what you think you need for three or four people. And remember, rice is span. So one cup, that will fill two people's plates. Okay, that's, uh, so we need uh, three, I mean one cup and a half to do this job. All right, now, the ratio for rice is one cup per, two cups water, to one part rice. So let's get our water in there. Let's turn our uh, heat on. So we put one cup, so we need two cups of water. One, two, then we put a little half a cup in there, so we need a whole cup. There you go. We have our water ready. I'm going to pour a little bit more. Now, you could, if you want, you can start your ragu. Uh, you can get your salsa pan. Now, you want to turn your, your uh, rice on high to a bowl. When it gets to a bowl, turn it down to a simmer. All right, now we could cook our shrimp. We got some shrimp and we got some the ragu. We can put that on a salsa pan. Oh, put it on very low because you want to simmer it for a while. Get your ragu. Ragu. Add a little water to your jar. Shake and bake. Alright, we don't need this no more. Then throw your strip in your ragu. Give it a little stir to get the ragu and all the uh, ingredients really stirred up. Don't that look good? Look at that. Look at that. Now, just put that on very low. You can put it on high for a few minutes just to get it the bowl, then turn it down to real simmer. I'm going to do it now because this this right up. Now, what I usually do with my uh, my rice, I'll cook it, I bowl it. The minute it starts boiling, that's why I put it on the low. Alright, let's see if we can get this cooking. Alright, we only got a little bit of rice, but that's a lot of rice. This one little bag can feed like four people, so. Make sure you number, always remember, it's two parts water to one part rice. That way you get your ratio right. Hey! Oh, oh, oh. We're gonna have fire here! No! Get out! I guess I have to turn it really low. Now, what's the wooden spoon for? Anybody know? Well, I'll rinse it off first. When your water is boiling and you put this above your pot like that, that keeps it from going all over your 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 stove. 
Alright, I'm Ranger Cookie. We're gonna cook this first and let y'all sit around. I don't want you to watch this because it's gonna be boring. So, see you in a few seconds. Alright, you remember that spoon I put on there earlier? Now look how it's stopping, stopping it from going overboard. That's what the wooden spoon's for. Watch what happens if I take it off and see what happens. If it starts rolling over, just put your wooden spoon across. This is what that hole's for. See that hole in your pot? There's a reason for that hole on your pot. They put the wooden spoon in and it goes across that and keeps the it over boiling. So just leave that spoon right there. And that keeps your your bubbles from going overboard. And look, our our ragu is starting to boil. Just keep stirring that as it cooks so you won't burn your dish. Make sure it's on really low. Because you just want to keep it warm now. Now it's good, so I'm gonna put it on really low. I got it hot, so it's going to cook that shrimp. If you don't have pre-cooked shrimp, look how good that looks, man. Oh, mama lord. And over here, we got our rice. Usually, I let it boil, then I put a cap over it and let it boil. But since I don't have a cap, I just put the uh, spoon on top. So, let's, let's let it cook. And I'll see you in a few seconds. Okay, mama lord. Now my race is complete. Take a look. Come here. <laughs> All right. Just cook your rice until it's done. Now some people rinse their rice. And that's all you do is take. Now some people don't want their rice with their sauce. Come down. Come down. But usually what I do. I just take and pour it all in the... Uh, Into my saucer pan. <laughs> and mix it very well. You got shrimp, ragu, and our rice. Look at that meal. Now remember, rice is a, like I said, it spans. So I can feed almost four to five people with this dish. Remember, the ratio is two to one. One rice to two cups of water. Now I might have to add more ragu, which I only bought one thing. Ragu. Now this one could go good with garlic bread, which I don't have. There you go, my last dish on the dish. I hope you enjoy, and I'll have guinea pigs. Yes, I have guinea pigs today. Look, I got three of them. <laughs> <laughs> I have three guinea pigs to try out the uh, ragu and strip for play. So, let's find out what happens. Y'all ready for some of these? Get your three pots.
Serve it with ice cold tea, and you have a dish. Oh, wish. Look at that dish. All right. How does the guinea pig feel about their dish? It's hot, so. You ever had anything like that before? And you, Mrs. Manland? And you, Mr. Manland? Honestly, pig tastes like shrimp. Yeah, we do have a little pig script in there. Mm. I wonder what a raccoon tastes like in it. Mm. Yeah, I bet you can do this with a raccoon too. You can do it. <laughs> you can cook it with everything. Ooh. Got to give that thumbs up there. I hope you're out this boy can cook. Do I cook normal <laughs> stuff yet? No. That's good. So here's the question and the real, uh, rarity of this meal. The rarity of a meal is like never ate dish. So never ate dish. What is the rarity of that dish for you, sir? Hmm. Is I it? can honestly say that I've never had this before. So for me, it's very rare. So once y'all try it out, it's free to do. I mean, it's simple. And my battery's ready to go out. Maybe the battery needs something to eat. <laughs> if it lasts. All right, the second question. How much would you play for a plate fixed right with extras on the side? So how much do you think you pay for that dish? In a fine, fine restaurant such as what we have here, I'd say $19.95. $19.95. And a rarity is one or ten. All right, I'm Ranger Cookie. I hope you enjoy my cooking series, Cooking with the Man Land, that guy there. And I hope you enjoyed the cooking series. Uh, I said the rest of it on the video, what I will cook for going out. I don't have many, I don't have a cook kit or whatever. All right, I'm Ranger Cookie. I'll see you. I'll see you next video.